Hi, welcome to Anne Margaret Scrapping. Today we're going to be learning how to make this Santa Claus card using Stamping Up Punches. What you're going to, what you need are the things that you see here. This is a two and a half inch circle. These four right here are the modern day window punch, and you're also going to need that for the um, little title down at the bottom, and you'll also need that for the belt. All we've done to make the belt is we've just taken and just cut right down and we only kept that little bump that's on the middle there. For inside the, the word window where it says Christmas time, what we did was is we stamped just the word Christmas for home for the Christmas. Uh, um, I'm sorry, yeah, home for Christmas stamping punch. And all we did was color the word Christmas time and punched it out using this punch right here. <clears throat> to make the trees in the background, what we did was is we first of all just punched this using some light um, colored blue ink from Stamping Up. And this right here is lovely as a tree, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the white side just for now. Okay, for his shoes, you're going to need... Using the three heart punch, you're going to need black in this one right here, and you're also going to need that for his mittens as well. His hat is the one and a three eighths inch punch. His face is a one and a half inch circle using flesh color. Now for his mittens, these right here, we used the bigger of this punch right here, and we are also going to use this for his hat. Now when you use this for his um, for the uh, cuffs on next to his mittens, you're just going to cut that right in half. His mustache is just the very tip of this heart, so save yourself some paper and only punch just the that part right there. His beard is the ornament punch and the uh, scallop round. You're only going to need about five of those, so save yourself some paper. Actually, technically it's four, but I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started assembling. Now, for his legs, the only thing that we really need to do is get the tape going and find one that works. And that's the way it always is. There we go. We'll just use our backup pen. That's why we have backup. You're just going to glue his leg right on top of there, just like that. And as you can see, his boots are already starting to come together. Now, for his arms, I've already got one assembled here. <coughs> but let me show you. What we're um, getting ready to do is I'm going to show you how you can make those mittens. Because I already have this one right here done. So, but what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to curve it just a little bit and then come down just like that. And as you can see, that makes just what looks like possibly like a thumb. And that one I told you that we were going to cut in half, all that you're going to do is you're going to glue your mitten on top of there. And then you're going to take that one and you're going to cut it in half. And you're going to put that right just like that. And that has made both of his arms. For his belt, remember all you did was you're just keeping just that middle part on his belt on the word window punch and you're going to kind of just put that till it lines up till it touches on both sides okay and as you can see it's already starting to come together and although we really haven't quite glued anything now what you're going to do what or actually what we ended up doing is we just took a scrap piece of paper for his mouth and we used the crocodile the very small one to make the nose Okay, but the first thing we did was you're going to take just a very small, small, small piece of scrap red and you're going to glue it just like that and then you're going to glue this right on top just like that and you can even curve this around. 
actually this piece is too big and you would trim that off and after you do that I trimmed it off then I took my very small circle from the crop it all and I glued it on top of there through the magic of television we already have one glued we took and we made some eyes and gave him some cheeks okay now let's go ahead and let's talk about our hat what we did with the hat the first thing that we did was we started at the corner with our scissors and we just kind of went up at an angle on both sides and you don't want this to come to a complete point okay so let's get rid of those then you're going to fold this over. You're going to take your big one and glue that down. And you're going to take your little one and you're going to glue that down. And this is what I promised I would show you. What you're going to do is you're going to have three full scallops just like that. And then you're going to take and you're going to cut half on this one and half on this one. And like I said, just cut straight across. And you're going to glue that on top like that through the magic of television. We already have that done for you, and as you can see, that's all we did. Now what you're going to do is you're going to glue this right on top of his face. If you feel more comfortable adding the eyes afterwards, that's absolutely fine. This is your Santa. You can make him any way that you wish. Okay, we have that done then all you would really need to do at this point is glue his little face on like that. You can make his legs as long or as short as you wish them to be. For this is your Santa. This is your Christmas. You can make the hat be floppy. And then you would just glue that on through there. Okay, through the magic of television, like I said, we already have this one done for you. I kept it on the white side to hopefully make it a little easier to see. But that's it. That's how you make your Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is around the corner, guys. Happy scrapping.